Ooh, welcome back travelers, it is Sada Havoc here, and we are back playing a little Sev Tech Ages. And we've got quite a bit done um, off camera. Now, not progressive wise, no. But as you can see, I have literally accidentally reforested like this entire valley. Um, I put like I think two trees over here and two or three trees over here just so I could can produce some oak to start uh, doing some building or whatever. And the trees have just gone crazy. Like on this side, it's just insane. Like it's a whole new forest that started over here. And it's just funny. I just kind of want to show you that. But we got some stuff done. Um, we are, I got building happy, okay? So to kind of give you an idea, I know in one of the other videos, I had said that I'm finally back on track and kind of caught up with um, my pre-recorded. And this is actually where we're at now. Uh, this one's finally caught up with the pre-recorded as well. And so now these are going to be coming out pretty much right after I record them. But uh, let me tell you, I kind of went crazy with the building because I didn't want to record anything until I was finally caught up. I had so many pre-recorded episodes and I had gotten back early and had more than I needed. And so basically, long story short, was I didn't need um, to record for a while. But I was really enjoying playing the pack and so I still wanted to stick around and play it. So I've been building instead. Let me take you on the adventure that is my last, like, week or so. No longer a stone cave anymore. Now, it is a full-on underground farm. And I've been kind of prepping ideas for what I want to do next. So, I guess stairs to go up on top. But full-on farm for the horses and the buffalo and the cattle. And then whatever animal <coughs> I find next that I need to create a farm for. And I'll just continue off on that side. But I kind of like the look of this. I don't know about you guys, but it just feels very Minecrafty and also looks kind of clean. I like it. Now, as for the house, this is how you guys remember the house right here. Now, I started branching off over here because I wanted to build something and I kind of stopped in the process. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to like leave it like a work in progress. Like, you know, we're building up, but whatever. And then there's this area over here. I branched off because I had mentioned in the last episode I want to start doing a farm. And I wanted my farm to kind of branch off to the side. So I created what's going to basically be an upstairs farmhouse. And then the farm's going to be right here. And as it's ever expanding, we can go out in different directions and kind of expand from here. But I just wanted to kind of create like a little farmhouse. And so that's it. And if we ever want to like build something on top or kind of bring things over, I could always kind of, you know, change the direction of the stairs right here and go off to the side. You know, something like that. Or, you know, come up a lot. I don't know. But I like... I like the building as I'm doing it right now. Uh, I'm enjoying it as it is, and I forgot a roof here. Let's let's finish making that roof. Um, I need 18, right? Okay. That's kind of funny that I forgot to put a roof on it. All right. It's been like a day or two since I've been on, so obviously there's going to be some things that I forgot and still need to clean up, but none of this really pertains to progress or anything like that. And there's the 112 spike. There we go. I've learned that one. 1 1.12 is pretty laggy at times. So anyway, so yeah. So we just did a little bit. Not a lot, but I mean, obviously this looks way different than it did at the end of last episode. And I'm kind of digging it because I just want to kind of create, you know, this feeling of everything being all together. And you can even see this I thought was actually, I don't know if creative or stupid. One of the two. But I was going to start building, you know, off in this direction too. And I noticed that my my farm was kind of sticking out over here. So then I kind of made it look like maybe there was a, a, a dirt fall that fell on all this. And then when I, fi I finally cleared out and stuff like that, it, it'll be cool. But uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. So that was the first four minutes of kind of getting you caught up on where we're at. Let me go sleep off the night and then we are going to get started on today's episode. So to let you guys know, I did uh, update the pack. And so I am all updated to the most recent version. And with that being said, I took a look at this and there was actually a new thing added to um, age zero or the tutorial. <clears throat> and I thought it was kind of funny that um, basically says, if you cannot locate certain resources from underwater, use a water strainer base and insert a strainer. Each strainer type has a different loot table, you know, make sure to check them out. You need to craft the strainer base and a dense survivalist strainer to complete. So 
we've got that task now. And that should be relatively easy. I'm pretty sure I should have all the materials. So let's first look up a strainer base, which is this guy. Yeah. And that's pretty easy. It's just the, the level two hopper with some planks, a chest, and a stick. And we can do all that. Actually, I can just make a regular chest. Nice. And I don't know. I thought I had an extra hopper around here somewhere. Well, I've got extra ones of these anyway. So uh, sticks I've got, wood I got. I just need to make the other hopper. Oh, look at that. I got more in here. Um, wait, was the other hopper in there? I wasn't looking that thoroughly. Well, it's around here somewhere. Right, and so is it in this chest? I had that hopper somewhere. Okay, they changed the sound on that chest. Um, well, you know what? This one's not being used right now. We can always use it later. Or is it no? Well, where'd you go? Hey, come here. There we go. This is the one that needs a uh, string, a oh, cobweb and more planks it's not that one it's more planks isn't it man i try to remember these recipes you are used to make this guy oh that's stuff okay cool and i was just looking at it right here uh one two three four five and then i'm going to need some string which i have wheat but not string or not wheat but uh, cotton so i'm going to need five I'm going to need two of these. and Actually, you know what? I'm going to make it out of these. Um, three. I need 15, right? Yeah, there we go. I think it's three cotton to make a string, right? What is this? I know the cotton makes string. Oh, I already had it on my screen. Um, oh, the work blade. I need the work blade, too. Okay, that's what I'm missing. Where is my work blade? Right there. Cool. So U with three U gives me the five string I need. And hey, chill out. Now <clears throat> I need U, U. There we go. And then I need U. There we go. And then finally I need U. There we go. Cool. So we got the strainer base. Now, I don't know where necessarily a good place to put it in the water, but I'm thinking just right down here um, for right now. Just kind of makes sense. I believe I can put it on this block right here. Like so. Yes. And then I'll put the strainer right there. Okay. And so we got to go make a dense strainer, I think that said. So... It's kind of cool. There was just like all of a sudden they updated and added new things. So I'm glad that they're like not just updating the pack to check for fixes, but like, you know, other things to add to the game. So that's really cool. So we need this one right here. So I need a whole bunch of sticks with a dense net. Oh, well, that seems super, super simple. Six string is going to be four, eight. Yep. That's all I need. Right. Yep. And I've got the blade on me somewhere right there so there's eight string and then make this the net right yep and then put some strings around it so we'll make two of them i'm figuring that probably can't hurt me to make some extra and there we go achievement done and then i think you just right click on it i'm not 100 percent sure how this thing works eventually we'll probably make a couple extra one of these but there we go cool and then right click when we get a ui and then bait slot and bait pot slot. But I don't want bait because I was thinking this is actually what I was going to use to get, like, yeah, these materials, gravel and uh, sand. So just kind of get a pile of it in there and stuff like that. So I'm just going to let that be. I wonder if I could put a hopper above this and just put more dense uh, nets or whatever and see if it would keep working. Cool. There's a piece of sand. It's got 119 uses left, so <clears throat> almost two stacks of items it can get me. That's pretty cool. Um, you know what? Let's look at the other nets that there are. There's a survivalist strainer, the survivalist center dense, and then a fisherman strainer. Ooh. I didn't mean to hit you. I, <sighs> come on. I wanted to do this. And that gets me fish. Oh, bones. That could be useful. 
Um, lily pads, vine. Ooh, vines could be good for decoration. What's the recipe on this? A net and some sugar cane. And a net is three string. Let's go get one more string real quick and we'll do this. And we're going to have to make another one of those, uh, <coughs> those guys, but that shouldn't be a problem. So I'm going to need two chests. <clears throat> I'm going to need a little bit more string. So let's just make up what I can right now. That should be five more. Like so. There we go. <coughs> I apologize, but I'm a little bit dried out right now. So if I'm coughing and stuff like that, I'm trying really hard not to. But uh, sometimes it just happens. Um, so the hopper. Oh, wait. I need to make another... Uh, I need a little bit more string. Um, let's just make up a couple. There's like 16 more. No reason to kind of short myself on this stuff. <clears throat> and I'm going to need five more of these. Right? And so we should be able to make both hoppers really quickly. I think it was just like this, right? Yep. And then I need to make you like so there we go and then you with these look at that i'm like memorizing recipes here and then finally this just shift click this oh i need more planks really i need more planks do i have any planks in here nope i got a couple slabs i gotta go run and get some planks although i may not have any over there i hope i do but i may not i do not, well, I got these ones. I can, doesn't have to be the, there we go. That's a whole stack. I was thinking about oak wood, but it doesn't have to be oak wood. I can get away with this. And you know, psh, just do this right here. Um, you go. There we go. Strainer base. And then I want to make you. So there's the net. And I don't have the sugar cane, but I can go grab some real quick. I should have some in like my useful chest. And so that should be okay. I do. So then we'll go put down a fishing one too. And I just want the vines for decoration purposes. So that's kind of the reason I'm doing this right now is literally just for decorations. Um, if you find that to be silly, I'm not going to disagree with you. But at the same time, like I said, I'm having so much fun. I really want to kind of uh, stay in keeping with the theme. Ooh, squiddies. I want to kind of keep in theme and... Part of that is just having fun, right? Oh, I need bait. Okay, well, let's look up some bait. Um, bait. Worm can be used as bait. How do I get a worm? Uh, dig dirt blocks with a garden trowel to gather rooms. Uh, worms. Okay. Let's go do that. This is... I, I've got all the stuff I want to do today, but I'm kind of... I like going off the cuff on some things just because it's, you know, it's a learning process. So let's look up garden trowel. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. A flint. And dirt? <laughs> dirt is part of the recipe. Interesting. Okay. And let's go get some bait. I don't know how successful bait is. Uh, let's just go take the top of this mountain off. A little hilltop over here. Now, I did notice that with the update, it's been a little bit laggy. I don't know what's causing that. I'm trying to not you know overly think it and stuff like that but it has been a little bit laggy since the update my frame rate dropped almost in half at one point um so i'm not sure what i can do to fix the problem if you guys because i know you guys watch other videos and stuff like that and you watch other players if you've heard anybody talking about frame rate droppage uh with the most recent you know uh version of the pack and you know of a way that i can uh alleviate this problem i would greatly appreciate it because it's been, it's not horrible if I'm not moving around too much, but when I do start loading more chunks and stuff, it's just been pretty bad. And I don't want to drop down to like an eight chunk load. Uh, I just, I like to be able to see off in the distance. Like I can see those islands over there. If I was in an eight chunk loadout, I wouldn't be able to. So just, if you guys could keep me in mind while you're watching other videos, right? And uh, let me know if there's anything that you could advise me on that could help with this problem because 
it can be a little cumbersome when you're recording and you're getting like, you know, frame lags and stuff like that. And you know, anybody who's watched my videos knows I don't complain about lag very often, but it, it is that noticeable that it's kind of, you know, caught my attention to the point where I need to talk about it and uh, hope that one of you guys might be able to help me out with uh, advice on how to prevent it. Cause I'm sure someone else out there has had an issue. I know there's a lot of people who, uh, you know, play on a regular basis who, you know, I'm just throwing all this stuff away. Um, don't like the lag, obviously for the videos, especially when you're recording in HD and stuff, you don't want to start getting lagging or it just, it, oh, it makes the videos look so bad. So we'll go sleep it off. We'll go through our bait in the thing. And then hopefully we'll start getting some cool stuff. And literally all I want is vines. <laughs> That's the whole reason I just made that was just to get some vines because I think that could add a lot of texture to the houses and the builds and stuff like that. So let us put the bait in. There we go. What have we gotten so far? Dirt, gravel, and sand. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting much from it, but um, what mod is this from? This is from Water Strainer. Let's look up what else comes with Water Strainer. Um, there's a dense net. What does a dense net give me? Oops. I always do that. Uh, dense net. Is that the one I made a second ago? Oh, that is the one I already made. Okay, so... This gives me that. Okay, so the strainer... can The survival strainer can get me wood? What? And this one gives me... I might get some dives, but that could be awesome. Just some different woods to work with in different planks. That's so crazy. I, I Wood would not have been a thing I would have expected. Um, oh, and then a bait pot with a net and a flower pot. Oh, we can so do that, right? I can make a flower pot, right? It's just got 128 uses, so I don't need a lot more bait. Uh, yeah, three bricks to make the flower pot and then the net. Let's go do that and pop that boy in there. Just because, why not, right? We're in the process. One, two, three. Smelt you up real quick. Um... Can you not? Can you not? You can't. I gotta do you in the kiln? Well, heck. Okay, come here. I don't even know how many times I've done this now. I just needed to make another one of these flaming uh, hoppers or whoppers or whatever it's called. Because this is just funny. Okay, give me my grill back. Let's put the clay in there, make some bricks up. <clears throat> and then. Do I have the string? I still have string on me. So let's make. What was the. Just the net, that's the one with three, okay. So one, two, three, net done. That's so funny. Okay, there we go. And then we'll get that. And then we'll go with what the rest of today's plan was, which was basically looking into um, the rest of age one. I've been looking into this hunting dimension. It doesn't seem like something really useful, but it's something we can get done, which is not a big deal. The channel super simple. I want to test out these aqueducts and really see how they work. Um, <clears throat> from what I can tell, it basically, you just create a channel and the water flows. And I don't know if it's going to 100% work, but there's going to be a way to get them to come up as well. And so you've got the aqueducts, which is better with add-ons. And then there's like a block, like a, a, a liquid elevator block. I don't know that uh, we can basically bring it up. So we'll see. All right, so there we go. Got you. Hey. That was weird. Okay. So bink, bink, and bink. No, not binking. Oh, I need the pot and to put you right on top. Bait pot. Cool. So I didn't even need to go get the bait, but it's cool. I'm, I'm learning about these things, and I think that's really, really sweet. A lot of cool things to learn in this mod pack that I've never seen before. So I got a bowl and a stick so far. Awesome. Oh my God. What is that? Oh my God. I'm dead. Is that a bear? Oh my God. Oh, my heart is racing right now. How in the world? Oh my goodness. I wonder if he's attracted by my fishing. <laughs> uh-huh. Hi. 
Can you? You can't get up here, can you? <laughs> Whoa! That scared the bejesus out of me. I'm surprised I didn't die. Where'd you go, man? Where'd you go? I don't want to leave the house. I don't have anything I can hit him with. Oh my goodness. That dude was huge. He took my life down to like one heart and like a single swing. Where the heck did he go? I don't want to go down there anymore. <laughs> oh, where did you go? I know you're out there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's really big bears in this mod pack. Where did you go, dude? Oh, I hear you. Where are you at? You're right there. I see you. Can I swing at you from here? He's trying to get me. He just jumped. How how can I get you? I need to create a trap to get this guy. Okay, he can't fit through one block, I don't think. Oh my god, this could be the stupidest thing I've done so far. Gotta go. Gotta go. Come on. Follow me. I want to see if I stay in the doorway, if he'll sit there. Come on, I'm right here. Come on, man. Come on, I'm right here. I'm right here. What? Come on, I can't go anywhere while you're alive, so let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. Come on, I'm right here. Is he stuck somehow? That would be hilarious if I can creep up on him while he's stuck over there. I don't want to get close. It looks like he's kind of stuck. Oh, yeah, no lag spikes. Oh, I hit him. I got him once. Oh my gosh, he's got a ton of hearts. He's got 50 hearts. Or 50 life. He like goes freaking out. He's glitching out. I can't fight him like this. That, there's no way I can get close to him right now. No. Come on, man. Stop glitching out. Oh, perfect. What in the world? A bear. A freaking bear. It would have been awesome if I could have tamed him. Well, all right. Cool. <laughs> so there's bears in this pack. That's uh, good to know. Come on, pick this up. Why can't I pick you up right now? Why can't I pick you up right now? Why are you not letting me pick you up? Oh, there was something inside? A bear claw? It's not rendering, though. <clears throat> okay, that's interesting. We'll put you back over here. Oh, my goodness. My heart was literally racing. Like, that caught me off guard. I was not expecting that. My goodness. What is this bear claw used for? To make a bear claw paxel, huh? Mining level diamond? Mining speed eight? Well, hello, bear claw paxel. Let's do this. Um, okay. Wait, where was the bear? There it is. <laughs> My invisible. Why isn't it doing it? Was there more than what? Oh, because I couldn't see it. Um, uses. Four of them. Five of them. Okay. How many do I have? Just one? I'm assuming. Just one? Um, I need to put this in a place that I'll never forget it because it's invisible. Let's put you right there. This is too funny. The invisible thing. <laughs> uh, not in my hand anymore. Okay. There's a bear claw there. Cool. Cool. Good to know. All right. That was... There's bears. Uh, apparently, bears have uh, invaded my island. Interesting. I got some bear meat. I guess we can cook that up, right? 
Oh my goodness, that so scared me. <sighs> okay, moving on. So we've got all of our side stuff out of the way for the day. Oh, I'm literally, my heart's a little racing a little bit. So we need the hunting dimension. Let's check this out real quick. Um, let's see if these blocks are doable. Planks and a sword. We get four. I know I need eight because it's like a, a nether portal. Not eight, ten. Six, six, eight. Yeah, ten. So I need to make three batches of these. So I need three swords and planks. Got it. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Thank you. Now I can make you. There we go. One. <clears throat> no, don't use that sword. Two. And three. Okay. Did that... You, oh, I used the wood, not the planks. Oh, that was kind of expensive. Okay. Let's see. Where should we put this portal? I'm assuming since it's made out of wood, I can probably pick it up pretty easily. Let's put you over here for right now and just kind of check you out and see what you're all about. I'm going to put you over here in case bad people try to spawn through. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't mean to do this. Seven, eight, one, two, three. Yeah, I need to put you on top. Yeah, there we go. Like a so, and right there. And I think I said you throw your sword through it. Does it have to be a new sword? Hold on. I'm sure if I read, it'll tell me. If you need to find hostile mobs, use a hunting dimension. Craft the portal frame just like you would the nether portal. Light it using a vanilla sword and sneak into the portal to enter. Oh, light it with the... There we go. Okay. And then we sneak into the portal. Yeah, now this makes mob sounds, which would bother me. But let's go just check it out real quick. I'm sneaking. I don't seem to be going anywhere. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So what exactly is this? Is it just an alternate world where there's a lot of mobs? Maybe it's just like infinite nighttime. Maybe that's what it is. Well, something happened. It started rendering and then, oh, now it's loading terrain again. Well, something new, something different. We always like that. Um, I'm back in the overworld. What? Hold on, let's try that again. <laughs> like I'm back in the regular world unless that unless it's like a mirror image of when I created it that would actually be kind of cool um oh my goodness it is so dark here it is so dark I do kind of want to see something while we're here though if the ores are the same I wonder if there's like cheaty ores if you ain't cheating you ain't trying guys y'all know the deal if you ain't cheating you ain't trying I shouldn't be here. I'm just thinking to myself, I should not be here. But we'll come back. When I have more armor and stuff, we'll come back. There we go. So apparently we have a portal to an area. If we ever need mobs, we've got them at our disposal. So that's cool. Um, I just don't want to mess around with them. And it's nighttime here, so let's not let the mobs start here too. And let's get to sleep. All right, well, one more step done. This is getting strenuous and hunting, a hunt or be hunted. All right, cool. So we'll leave that portal over there for right now till I find a better room. I'll probably make a portal room somewhere um, in the build eventually. But for right now, I need to go dump some stuff. I'm like looking for bears everywhere I go now. That was so creepy. Okay, uh, don't need that much cobble right now. Don't need that much dirt. I don't even need the stone. I don't care. All right, let's go put the rest of the stuff away and continue on with what we're doing. Hey, come on. So, uh, useful stuff, useful stuff. There's no spot for you. Um, let's just take the one cotton for right now. My building materials, I'm out of planks. Sand goes in there. Um, I'll throw that cotton out the window. My, my temporary trash can there. 
uh, some planks on me just for building purposes and my leads and that's good there. All right, cool. So we've got that one done. Um, I guess I can go set up my millstone again real quick because, um, well, what's the recipe for porcelain? I forget. Uh, channel. Uh, let's see. It is flint, clay, and bone meal. Easy peasy. I'm going to need three, no, five. One, two, three. Oh, I need more clay. Five of you and five of you. And we'll get some more clay. And then up here somewhere, we'll just put the millstone down. We'll put it right here. This seems like a logical place to put it right next to the other stuff there we go and let's go well let's go see if we got any clay in our strainers that's a possibility right do we got some clay down there can i go over this edge safely yes okay so let's see if we got any clay in any one of these stone oh that is so funny so much for a trash can it caught that nonsense um Okay, so apparently it picks up items. So if I were just to throw items out here, it just goes in there? Not in that one. Oh, they went over there. Interesting. Okay, so my trash can, not so trash can -y. It's stuck with me. All right, let's go find some clay. I know there's some over in the flat areas. Uh, that's clay right there, isn't it? Isn't that clay? Yes, it is. Cool, I'll take it. Yeah, that's all clay. Okay. I was like, I know, I'm learning to, the dots is uh, salt, but it's hard to tell if it's clay or sand when it's underwater. But let's just get a decent amount right now. Not a lot. We, we don't need to spend time digging up clay. All right, let's go. So I've got my clay. Let's run back up to the millstone. I'm liking the feel of this. I kind of, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying the feel I get from it, so... All right, so, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> you, you, and you. Time to get caught up on my fruits and veggies here. I'm starting to get my nutrition up. My protein's pretty good. My grains are pretty good because I've been eating a lot of bread. Uh, during all that building, obviously all the chopping and stuff like that was uh, a great way to get my nutrition kind of back on track. So that was kind of cool. Um, Got one porcelain clay. There's two. Got another one right here somewhere. The, I, the, it kind of drives me nuts that they just kind of like fall all over the place. And I can't just put like an inventory to catch them. I mean, I guess I could put a whole bunch of hoppers under it. But yeah, it's a little bit of pain like that. There it is. And one more. Let's go. Ah. Uh, I did realize I was listening that I was complaining about the sounds of like the the minecart sounds and stuff like that. It doesn't come out on the video, and I noticed that when I was uh, rendering the last video. So I guess it's not too bad, but it really is loud in my headphones, like super loud. Um, you know, I got low grade charcoal around here somewhere. Let's go make up some charcoal, and I can make some tiny charcoal so I don't keep wasting materials. Let's do this. This is the one that can do it, right? Yeah. Couldn't remember if it was or not, but yeah, just getting a little bit of charcoal around will be nice. Um, I've got to figure out a way to get some coal pretty quickly. I did find an, oh, I did find an ore deposit with coal, so we might be able to go down and get some of that. Um, we'll, we'll check that out. I left a little marker on the ground. However, it's in the middle of that tree forest, so who knows if I'll ever be able to find it. Um, eight charcoal. That's all I get. Do I only get four charcoal per? Um, charcoal comes from low gauge, uh, charcoal block. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, four. So eight makes sense. And we can make this into tiny charcoal, can't we? Yeah. Coal pieces. And apparently they don't have a render image either. So that's awesome. All right, cool. So that way we don't waste any wood and stuff like that, which would be good. Um, I mean, that's kind of cool. If you think about it is one, two pieces of wood can smelt. It's funny to think about that way. Two pieces of wood can be made into low-grade charcoal, which gives us four pieces of charcoal. So two pieces of wood can actually smelt 64 items, but one can do one. <laughs> That's just 
funny. Oh, Minecraft math. Oh, goodness. Okay, what is this right here? Oh, Firework Star. How is that under char? I don't see those letters. I don't know. Maybe just because it's in the recipe? Who knows? Okay, so there's that. And let's make the channel. Do, 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 do. There we go. We have a porcelain channel now. Now, what else do we got to do here? Um, the aqueducts. So I'm curious. I really want to work on the chat, test out these aqueducts here. So it looks like they're all kind of the same with just different style recipes. Uh, so this is clay with bricks, clay with unfamiliar item, clay with unfamiliar item, clay with sandstone. So it's clay and something else. Um, I happen to have some stone. How many do we get from a recipe? We get three of them. And I believe you need three just to form one little aqueduct. So let's let's go back down. I had some stone <laughs> that I threw in that thing. And I have enough to make some clay blocks. So, oh my gosh, that bear. I'm literally like, where's the bear? Um, you. Let us grab the stone. And I've got enough clay to make some clay blocks. So we're good. I'm pretty sure I can just craft them in the clay box. Hopefully I don't have to like put them in like the presser or anything like that. I bet you I do have to put them in the presser. Uses. Uh, clay block. Nada. Okay. That makes bricks. The presser. That's how I do it. Okay. There was something else. I, I Uses. Where is it at? I saw it. And I was looking at this earlier, uh, unfired clay bowl. This actually gives me the cauldron. That's how I get this guy, right? Yeah, and fire that up. So that could be something to look at soon too. But let's go make up a couple clay blocks. I need to grab my horsey. This was the fastest one I could find. No, he's 2.8, one of the, the white one. No, one of these is 3.1. He was 3.1. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, it just wasn't on the right horse. Um, yeah, he was my fastest horse at 3.1. And if I remember correctly, he had 28 hearts. Just for the record, just going to joke around about this because you had said that uh, generally speaking, more hearts means uh, slower. But he had the most hearts. Oh, you're on the wrong one. And he was my fastest one. So neener, neener. I guessed that one right. I might have been wrong 99.9% .9 of the other times, but I was right this time. So let's do, that'll give me six clay blocks. And that's enough to do two recipes. So there we go. Get to smashing. All right. And I need to go smelt up a little more stone while that's going on. Hey, you get in there. This polka dotted one was doing the moonwalk out of here earlier and was able to get through the fences. I couldn't figure out how, but he had skills. And I literally looked at him at one point point. he was moonwalking. He wasn't even moving. He was just kind of chilling backwards so I need two more of these I'm gonna get these aqueducts now while the aqueducts are working this is what I want to start looking at too the anvil because I believe this is how I'm gonna start getting ingots and stuff like that anvil right there and that's gonna be four more stone so I'm gonna need seven more stone so one two three four five six seven how many did I put in there I put two in there so there should be nine total there we go and the hammer one more all right cool so while that's smelting up <clears throat> we can do this now yeah so anyways like i was saying about the uh the anvil i believe that's how we're going to get our ingots and stuff like that and i gotta like pound down uh blocks into them so we'll see if that's the case you're not done yet come on dude hurry up hurry up oh. I'm not in your way. Come on. That's five. One more, dude. Go. You owe me one more. Go. Yeah. That's five. Where's my other one? Go. Oh, I grabbed the lead. Sorry, man. Not your fault. Go. There we go. Yeah. Let's get our other block of clay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. I promise. You're doing a good job, man. You're doing a good job. I'm going to go ahead and leave you out here. I put all the other animals away just because the buffalo kept breaking off their leads. I didn't want to have to keep making leads because somehow they're, you know, Houdinis. So I decided to put all the animals away. 
and let's sleep it off and then we'll go make some of these aqueducts real quick i really <clears throat> am interested to see how they're going to work i really have no idea but we'll see because having you know non-infinite water and stuff like that kind of whatever so uh anvil um i need to make you so there's you guys and that makes you anvil got you and then the hammer got you and then the aqueduct like that no you were definitely the bottom block the clay all went on top like that and some aqueducts so let's go figure this out real quick how this works so if i'm understanding what i was reading basically it's saying if i were to fill like I want to make almost like if I was making a bowl or a bucket like that V shape in the crafting table, I want to do that right here like this and like this. And then it's supposed to let the water flow like an infinite flowing. Okay. That's really cool. But can you go up? <laughs> that's the question how do i get the water to come up because it's definitively you can kind of little see the line that it's created right there so it's definitively created a little river i'm i'm curious as to how i can use these i like the idea but how am i going to be able to use them that's that's the question um i don't know well i'm going to keep thinking about it but right now, that's just an awesome achievement done. So I'm cool with it. And let's go, I'm gonna put, well, no, we'll put it upstairs. We'll put it up top with the porcelain channel, just in case you're wondering what I was thinking about. <clears throat> so I don't know if I made the faucet yet. Have I made a faucet? Have I had a reason to make a faucet? Or have I even thought about it? one, two, three, and I need a little more flint and wrong way, flint and bone meal, so I can make a faucet. And then I'm gonna need, I'm sure the basin, um, the crafting basin is seven. Yeah, so I need to make seven plus three. I need ten more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eventually, there you go. Ten of you, and I need more flint. Do I have you? I was almost going to shape craft it and then I just remembered it's that this thing right here and I need one two three four five there we go there we are put you back in there my inventory is getting a little crowded here let me throw out the dirt I don't need you and gravel can go back I'm trying as hard as I can to keep my inventory pretty um, I'm not always successful but I've been doing so good so far all right and so we'll go make some more of this porcelain clay. And so we're gonna make a faucet and try to pour into a basin and see if that works. And then we'll set up our anvil too. So you, you, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Yep. <clears throat> I wish there was a way to automate this. I really do, but I don't have any power yet. And I do want to get uh, the bowl. We had talked about the unfired clay bowl and the bowl last time, but I need to make the turntable, and I don't even know if that's an eligible item yet. Oh no, that's right, I looked at it, but it's a copper gear, and I don't have copper yet. And I also don't have these sidings, which I believe you get from the saw. So, the clay bowl's a little ways away, so my farm, my rooftop farm, is just a distant memory, a distant idea at the, mo at the, at the moment. It will come into fruition eventually, but, uh, at the moment, it's just not something that can happen, so. But I can at least start getting some metal done. Um, don't really have a good working area because I've made these all into walking paths. Let's just put you right here for right now. Anvil. And then the hammer, I just dink, dink, dink on it, right? Oh, I got two? How'd I get two? Did I make two by accident? Did I... I couldn't have because I had the perfect amount of stuff. I don't know how I got that. Um, unless you get one as an achievement. Because I do remember getting uh, an extra crafting stone when I made the very first uh, crafting stone. 
So maybe sometimes you get <coughs> random items as achievements. I don't know. But it's okay. We're going to get our faucet done. We're going to get our uh, basin done. And we're going to see if we can pound this tin block that I have in here. Oh, a block's worth of tin in there, I should say. And see if we can create a uh, couple ingots or not. Let's see. I don't like I don't know how that mod works but I know you can't just smelt down the items yet and so there's that's got to be the way and I'm figuring that's why they're doing the anvil because they want you to get tin and copper in the achievement book so we'll see how many do I have I have eight I need two more come on come on you're almost done All right, yeah, this is this takes a while. I really need to get some power. Like, soon, mechanical power would be so great. There it is, okay. So let's go smelt these bad boys up, and let's see if we can get that tin going. I think, I mean, it just logically, the way it's going, it's like, hey, here's the anvil. Hey, here's the rod. Go get some tin, got some tin and go find some copper which i still leave for and coal and i did find the coal so we can go get that today um and then these pipes let's let's look up the recipe for the pipes i know what they do they're actually pretty cool but i don't know what they're made of tin plates okay well we're about to get some tin so we'll be able to do that and the pipes are super easy let us craft those up real quick there you go so it was you 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 and you right did i do that backwards i did it backwards Okay, so let's do that. There we go. And then why am I having such difficulty right now? There we go. Eucalyptus plank or pipes. And then this one is just going to need the tin once we get it, which should be shortly once this porcelain starts. Cook faster, man. Cook faster. How long is it? Um, 10 seconds per. That's a while. Which means we got a minute left. Okay, so let's look at what else. Um, so the pipe will get done in just a moment. And then the coal we can go get. I need to find copper. I haven't found copper. I've been looking around as I run around. And I'm curious about this alloy kiln from Immersive Engineering. I've never done that before. I always make the, um, the coke oven and the blast furnace. But I don't know about this alloy kiln. Um, and, but I'm glad it tells me it's, you only need eight blocks because it's a two by two by two directly with the engineer's hammer, just like everything else. So that'll be curious to get to it, but I want to finish what we're doing at the moment. Come on, you take too long. And that's pretty much it. So obviously the copper and the, um, the kiln are what's going to finish age one. It looks like, um, unless more stuff opens up after I do these. Because I'm starting to realize that these gray ones are like the path that you have to follow. And that's what continues you on. Uh, so, yeah. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Wow, why are you taking so long? I swear it's like if I'm not looking at the furnace, it doesn't seem to be cooking. Like that's super f decent speed, right? I turn my back. I go into, say, this. And then all of a sudden it's like you're not cooking? I don't know. Two more. Well, that's enough to make this guy there's the basin and now i just need the last two for the faucet almost done almost done we might be able to finish it'd be tough but we might be able to finish <clears throat> age one today we'll see and i'm not even trying to go fast like i'm actually just kind of taking my time and enjoying this stuff i mean learning new stuff all the time so just because of the way this is all set up, I'm going to put you right here. And I'm going to put you right there. And we're going to make a block. Because I have a feeling <clears throat> that those tin plates that I needed, um, they can be poured out or on the anvil. Yeah. So a tin ingot. How do I get a tin ingot? Okay. Schmacking down gives me nine ingots. Okay. I can handle that. So then I put you here and they just hit you. Nice. So let's put you there and you, and I can go make the dung pipe or whatever it's called, the other pipe. I should probably put a crafting table up there, but for right now, whatever. Um, 
So then it was two of you and the pipe gives me the sewer pipe. Now this thing I think is really, really cool. Um, I, I want to do a test chest real quick. Let me put this hammer away for a second. This thing uh, for all intent and purposes is really, really cool. Let's make a chest like so. And I'm going to put a chest like right, we'll just do it here. I, I want to see if this actually works the way it's supposed to. So if you put items in there, like there's 44 planks in there and you put this pipe on the other side, which I can't do because this plank is here. It's supposed to pull items through. Oh my gosh. It really does work. That is pretty cool. Um, I can actually make this into like a good trash can by putting this pipe over like some lava and doing that there there's many uses that I can see for this in its future but I'm not leaving this chest hanging here like this for right now so we'll go ahead and take that down and we're gonna go hunt for coal um, let me just go ahead and throw this chest in here <sighs> useful item chest is getting kind of full uh, clay there we go actually you know what I'm going to take you guys. I'll leave one in here. I'm going to go take that chest and put it up there for metals and stuff. And then we're going to go look for some coal right after I sleep it off. So let's, let's just put the chest on top like so. Yeah. We'll just put you right there. Iron or the ingots go in there. Let's throw three more in there and put the rest right there. Okay. We're going to go sleep off this night that's creeping up on us. And then we're going to go find our coal because I have already found a coal deposit. Um, I did a little marker over on the other side. It's out in the, the valley on the other side of the farm. But copper. Copper has been something that has evaded me thus far. Um, you know, let's get that little telling rod thing, props, or whatever it was called. This thing right here and see if it works. Nothing of interest at 48. Nothing of interest at 48. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Crafting table. Nothing of interest. Now... There's a weird little structure. Oh, there it is right there. Right next to it, a little uh, surface ore deposit that I had found. So if I do this here, nothing of interest, but that was definitely an ore deposit. Yeah, there's another coal one right there. I'm assuming these are coal. Yeah, coal samples. So this has got to be the chunk. Let me turn any eye back on so I can F9 this. Any eye is causing some major lag issues. I've been trying to do away with it, but sometimes it's just mandatory. Okay, so chunk border. I'm gonna go straight down the middle. Last time, in case you guys were wondering, yeah, I know my numbers were off. Um, I don't know why I did four instead of eight, but I did. So we're gonna go ahead. I should probably bring my work blade before I go all the way down this hole. I'm gonna bring my work blade. So I don't do that to myself again. Um, well, I don't need the chunk borders anymore, so let's turn the NEI back off. I love NEI, but I don't know why it causes, it's like a, a graphic user, or a GUI uh, issues is what I've been having with it. It like slows the computer way down and it almost freezes when you're trying to uh, like open a GUI. And it's just, it's kind of a hassle. But anyways, we are going to grab our work blade like so and yeah and I'm like all turned around there we go I sprint from the house and then all of a sudden it's like super slow once I get right here yep all right so we are gonna go hunting for coal I just started my hole so I already know where to dig there we go and All right, now from here, I can basically do the good old fashioned uh, back and forth. I'm not gonna do it unsafe this time. I'm gonna do it the safe way. But I need to remember to do the ladders so I can get back out of the hole and not have to pillar up. There we go, all right. So have you found anything? Nothing of interest. Okay, so how far down are you? Let's see. 
I'm wondering if it could be off in like right left directions, but just not down because coal's shallow. It doesn't have to be super deep. But then I wonder if this rod actually finds coal. That could be the problem. It may not find coal. It may only be for metals. That would stink if that were the case. Actually, and I just thought about it. I don't need to do that ladder all the way down. I can do it on the way up. Um, do I have my torches? I don't have my torches on me. Why is it? Oh, let me break those so this stays light in here. Let me break those dirt blocks so we get direct light in here at least. Okay, there we go. All right, primal core stone ladder. So let's break you guys. There we go. Now the hole has light. Okay, cool. All right, let's go find some coal. And uh, I don't see copper in our future today, but, you know, that leaves one thing to look forward to next episode is getting to um, age two, I guess. I'm assuming. I mean, that's pretty much what I would think is next, right? Age two. It's coming. It's in your future. I hear lava. I think good thing I did this the smart way. Clay! Well, okay. I'm gonna get all the clay I can for super cheap. I don't think I've ever found clay underground like this. Looks like I just chose the right place to dig down. I wonder if that's a sign that coal is coming up soon. Oh. Oh, there's like a whole underwater valley here. Hello. What you got going on down here? Let's dig down a little bit and go spelunking a little bit. I've been kind of avoiding the spelunking aspect of Minecraft due to the fact that zombies and monsters suck. Um... I don't see anything really worthwhile in here, but let's swap you out real quick. So I can just keep my stairs. Let's try you again. Let's see. Still say nothing of interest? Nothing of interest? No? No? Really? Where is this coal at? Um, well, I'm going to have to kind of create... Well, I guess dude, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. I want to keep going down in the middle of the chunk. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this. So let's let's just fill some of the stuff in. We'll just void the water out like this. Get up here. There we go. And where's our hole at? Our hole is right here. Like I said, I want to stay in the middle of the chunk. So void this water out. Like so. All right, that'll let me keep my hole going straight. No, one more. Now I'm in line. Okay, cool. And we'll just keep our hole going. <clears throat> and here we go. Keep going down. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? If I have to breach out and like come up like I did last time, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Um,. Just because, well, I mean, coal's coal. Do y'all hear that? I don't know if the sounds are picking up well enough for the in-game sounds. That is the sound of an animal or creature I've never heard before. That is really weird. I, You know, I should have brought my plum, too. I mean, it gives you all these little tools and stuff. What is making that sound? It gives you all these little tools to be effective. What's this? That's slate. And I should use them. The sound's not getting any quieter, so it's like, whatever it is, is like following me. Okay, I'm all the way down to bedrock. So, with that being said, I'm thinking this thing doesn't detect coal. So I'm going to have to go up and basically do, oh my goodness. 
I'm going to have to basically people all the way up. All right. Well, I'll be back in just a minute when I peephole all this out. So we'll be right back. Okay. I just want to share this with you guys really quick. Um, I found out what it's making those noises. It's called a magma monster. And let me put my blocks back in my hand real quick so we can see this and run. This is a little one right there. And then there was a big, huge one right up there. And they seem to shoot fireballs. I, I found a cave by accident when I'm doing my peepholes. And yeah, there's magma monsters. So that's cool. Yes. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. I found out what was making the noises. Apparently there's a couple of them or their, or their noises travel a distance. So as I'm back to peephole and looking for my coal. I will be back once I find it. So I know a lot of the stuff I shouldn't be doing because it's super dark, but I just found this patch of dirt that we're still pretty deep underground. If you find a patch of dirt and I look and there's a grassy area down here. Now I don't want to go venture too far especially without any torches, but there's trees. There's trees down here. We're underground. How is this even possible? Every day this map throws something a little bit new at me and I'm really digging on it. Or this pot pack. Um, I don't want to venture too far because I don't have any torches. Oh, there's one of those magma creatures. Gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. We'll go ahead and plug you up like that. All right, so I just want to show you that. There's an underground little village right here. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna fill you with dirt just so I don't forget what's here. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so you have like no idea how long this has taken. I was starting to feel very lied to by the uh or the, the the samples i swear i have been going at it for a while this is my fourth tunnel down and i just now finally found some coal so yay for finding coal but oh my gosh oh and by the way in case you guys didn't know i did go back and look and notice it said it's located between 48 and 70 so i didn't go so deep after the first one but oh my goodness this took forever absolutely forever but we did finally find coal so that's cool so we'll get some coal built up here and uh get a nice little you know chunk of it and then we'll be able to schmelt for a while oh what's that that's a new item is that gold coal there what don't i need i have found a whole bunch of sulfur dust okay i guess that kind of makes sense around coal um I've been working hard trying to find this and this stuff takes forever with a stone pickaxe, but we've got it. We've got the coal, which is nice uh, to make smelting a little bit easier, a little bit nicer. Um, and then hopefully eventually, I don't know if tin, can I make like a tin pickaxe? Oh, look at that. I was already on tin. Um, no, that's flint. Doesn't seem to be tin, tin rod. Doesn't seem to be any tin tools, so not quite there yet. Got to wait for copper, I guess, but that's okay. But this is a huge, I mean, I, man, I have been mining for a while now. I believe this is my fourth hole down underground trying to find it. And it's just, it's a long process, but hey, I know where the coal is now. So that's good. How much I got? I got 24 on me. That's a good little start. Let's go ahead and we're just going to pillar up. I know which pillar it is. I'll take this one out of the ground a little bit. It looks like it's nighttime right now. So this might not be the safest time to go up. Next time I'll remember to bring some torches with me. All right. So there we go. We found some coal. So uh, the next one is going to be copper. And that's probably what we'll start off doing in the next episode is really trying to find some... Uh, some copper veins and getting age one done, or at least, you know, stepping towards the next direction. Cause I have a feeling that the kiln is going to require copper. That's probably why, or tin and copper making bronze. And that's what immersive engineering is all about. Let's look real quick. The kiln is just sandstone and brick and we need four of those recipes. So I've got plenty of clay, not an issue anymore. Uh, I'm sure I've been probably collecting sand out in our little, uh, Thing over there you go away what's an abyssal creature doing over here okay i get certain you know zombies and stuff like that spawning 
But an abyssal doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So let's go see if we've got some sand going. I know we've got a whole beach here. I'm just kind of curious. Uh, 40 sand. Cool. Some ink, some shark tooth. Uh, this is almost done. Down to nine. Um, some vines. Ah, let the decorations begin. So now we can start adding a little, a little life to our house here. Right? I've, I can make shears and stuff like that, but like over there, that's, that's where we're going to put the first two. We're going to start some vines on our houses over here just to give them a little bit of flavor, right? A little bit of life. So we'll put some vines right there and we'll put one right there just to let those start growing. Add a little bit of life and personality to our house and stuff like that. So yes, we've got some coal. That accomplishment is done. So pretty much all we have left is to go find some copper, which is 12 to 45. So at least we know the range and I'll remember that next time. And uh, yeah, and then we can look at knocking out the kiln. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc and I am out of here. Peace.